This is my one last letter to you. Hello everyone, it's Silver Dash back with more 400 days. And let's see who decided to go with me. Yeah, I have to. I'm, I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I and mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. It's your choice. Again, I'm not trying to force you or convince you. As long as you're willing to obey the rules and pull your weight, you're welcome to come. But you've got to decide now. We're not going to be out this way again for a long time. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. Hmm. How do we know this will work out? I give you my word. Hmm. Achievement unlocked. Loose ends. Whose foot? Foot? Whose foot did you shoot off? Oh, I guess this is the final episode, which is only like three minutes. Whose foot did you shoot off? 57% of players shot Justin's foot off. Stereo, go just stay in the car or get out. Okay. Oh, hey, so me and a majority of other players did the same thing. Cool. Okay, these guys left with Tavia, and those guys stayed at the camp. Oh, sh I probably should have convinced them more. I probably should have convinced them to say, like, you might find people you know or something. Uh, but... I don't know what that would do to those three. Maybe, uh, that guy would think that his family is there. Um, I don't know about Vince. Or that girl. <laughs> I forgot her name. But, yeah. And there you have it. I didn't expect this episode to be so short. I thought it would be a little bit more than that. But I guess we'll find out what happens next in Season 2 of uh, The Walking Dead by Telltale Games. An awesome series of games. Well, yeah. I guess you can consider it a series of games. Uh, but yeah. I mean, it is a DLC, so it was definitely going to be pretty short. About an episode long. Well, because it, it is an episode. But I kind of expected it to be a little bit longer. At least for another whole episode. Uh, so I guess I'll just like leave my thoughts on this. This uh, DLC. I thought it was pretty cool. How you get to see what happened to all five of these characters. Before they meet up I just want to know how they met up I cuz you know it's 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 supposed to, eh you know all of them just running away from stuff bad things happening in their previous groups they all got kicked out or somehow and uh now they're all together but I want to know how and I want to know what happened to the other people that they were with before this I wonder if in season 2 they'll encounter them uh I want to know what will happen to Clementine if she'll be in season two. I kind of had 
I kind of thought she would at least make like a cameo appearance at the end of this DLC, but that didn't happen. And, uh, I thought someone from the previous uh, episodes were going to make like at least a cameo appearance. Like, when I saw the trailer for this, I thought, I thought that, um, Russell was Omid because he does kind of look like him. I didn't like really take into account the tone of his skin because it was dark in that part of the it was nighttime. So, you know, I thought it was Omid and I thought Omid would be there and I thought he might have found Clementine or something or that or that might have been how he found Clementine and also met those five characters during the trailer. But uh yeah. So yeah, I liked it. I mean, there's obviously that that bug of when you are Russell and you're hiding behind the truck or the car and you have to peek out from the top of the car and look over. That that bug needs to be fixed, telltale. I'm just letting you know now. But uh other than that, the this DLC was actually really good. It was just as good as the main episodes. And, well, this does count as a main episode, I guess, because it ties in Season 1 to Season 2. And, uh... But, yeah, I think it was... I think they were good. This was a good episode. And it's just... Things got really... Things got really, like... Things escalated quickly. Like, as soon as you start, you're already... Uh, going to jail... For Vince's story... And then, immediately, the zombies, you know, you see zombies outside, and, and uh, w well, before that, before that, even earlier than that, uh, one of the prisoners is choking another prisoner, and you basically just have to yell at the cop, telling him what to do, whatever, and then that's when the zombies come, and that guy that died, the one that got choked, uh, turned into a zombie shortly after the one who was choking him got his head blown off. So, yeah, a lot of things happen in just Vince's story. And if you are... I, I kind of spoiled it for the people who maybe are just watching this episode for my thoughts on the DLC. But uh, I'm just going to say that about Vince's. And if you are looking to get 400 Days, I recommend it. If you already own The Walking Dead. And if you don't own The Walking Dead, I recommend you buy that as well. <laughs> because it is a good game and it is definitely worth the money. And why not support Telltale? They are a pretty cool company. And, uh... Yeah. So... Obviously you can tell by my... By my... What I'm saying that I like this DLC. And I think it was worth five bucks. It was probably worth... A little bit more, maybe. But yeah, it was definitely worth paying five bucks for. And, uh, if you haven't already buy it, I guess. I don't mean to sound like a sellout here, but, uh, yeah, I just recommend it because I really like it. But, uh, yeah. So, thank you for watching and, uh, stay tuned for more videos. When Season 2 comes out, I'll definitely be picking that up for the Xbox because I already have Season 1 for the Xbox and this DLC for the Xbox. So, I guess I'm going to carry it on on Xbox so that my choices can transfer over into the next game. Uh, but yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my series of The Walking Dead. I had fun making it. And if you enjoyed watching me, then I'm glad. And uh, yeah, so bye-bye.